All right, I'm gonna show you how to remove the planetary on a Hobart V1401 uh, mixer. And I did not loosen any bolts or anything ahead of time, so bear with me if I struggle a little bit getting a couple of these seals cracked, okay? First thing we're gonna do is we are going to drain the oil into a bucket, and this is just a three quarter inch socket. This one is about bone dry, so I'm just gonna put this plug back in there. Next, we're gonna move this, remove this bearing carrier plate is what they call it. Six, six bolts. And now that thing should just come straight down. There's no loose pieces in this. Once you get underneath here, you'll have access to a, a cap with a square on it. It's a round cap with a seal. You're gonna take a pair of channel locks or a pipe wrench and break that cap free. Once you get it loose, it should come out by hand. Bring it straight down because it's probably gonna be full of oil. Above that is going to be a retaining nut. And inside that nut is going to be a locking screw. Give you a close up of this. Here's the nut, and here is that locking screw. We need to remove that screw before we can twist this nut off. And that is just a, an Allen key, 964 ths It comes right out. Make sure you don't drop it in your oil bucket. Just a tiny little screw there. After we get that loosened, we can take that retaining nut off. Now notice this retaining nut has flat edges. You can take a, a flathead screwdriver and kind of pound that off in a reverse motion. You're going to need somebody to catch this planetary because this is the last thing that is retaining this planetary staying on. So I'm gonna break it free here, and then I'm gonna find somebody close to me here to hold up on this thing as I bring it the rest of the way down. Now this thing probably weighs, oh, 50 pounds, give or take, so make sure you have somebody that is ready to catch that thing. And it could very well take two people to do. Can one of you guys give me a hand real quick? Yeah, please. If you lift a little bit of weight up here, you should be able to twist that off by hand. I'm cheating here real quick with a homemade socket. Okay, when that comes down, you need to be ready to catch the retaining nut, the detent plate, and the taper bearing, okay? Coming down now, bring it straight down, and that's how you remove it.